is back. We'll see the ageless Tom Brady leading the Super Bowl champion Buccaneers and the return of Dak Prescott with his Cowboys next on Thursday night. With fall around the corner, football is back, America, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. We get a peek at Tom Brady as he brings out this Tampa Bay offense. And Tom Brady in his 22nd season overall and his second in Tampa Bay. After two decades in New England, a change of scenery, and another tremendous season culminating with a Super Bowl title. 40 touchdown pass in the regular season, and most since his record-shattering 50-touchdown season of 2007 in New England. He did have minor knee surgery in the offseason, but he said he's sticking with his plan to play beyond the age of 45, which is still two years from now. Look out, NFL. Tom Brady still wants to win. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Brady to Evans that time. First down, Tampa. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Throwing on first down is Brady. And this will be caught by Brown. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. Here comes this Dallas offense led by Dak Prescott in his sixth season now as the Cowboy quarterback. You remember last year he got off to an incredible start. Threw for over 450 yards in three straight weeks, including 502 against the Cleveland Browns in week four. Just four yards short of the franchise's single game record. Then came his injury in week five that pretty well derailed the Cowboys' season. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. Flush to his right. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Being chased out left. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. First and goal from the six. Now Elliott. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out as his guys are on the board first here tonight. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7 0 Cowboys. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now, after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Brady to throw on third and one. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. 
picked up by Keanu Neal. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, Brady. Got a man, it's Brown. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. So, C.D., big changes for 2021. Of course, last year we had the expansion from six to seven teams in each conference making the playoffs. This year, the headline, the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about a 17th game coming for a long time, and now here it is. So the beautiful part about all of it is that 17th game is going to be like these, these interdivision, interconference type games that are going to match up and play out over a four year period. And that's kind of cool. And I was looking forward to seeing some of the matchups that were going to come out of that for that 17th game. And could that be the game that decides a bunch of division titles? Prescott looks to throw on first. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And this is taken in at the five. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And this is more of the same right here. These guys have definitely been the aggressors here in the first half. They pushed the envelope in terms of play calls, and that's reflected in the score. And now they're in a position to widen this lead. And that one covering an even 63 yards in the air. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got him this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving. They're fired up, and it carries over to the other side of the ball. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And we'll see what they opt to do with just 14 seconds remaining until intermission. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 
We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Steps away to his left. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 from the shotgun to give to Elliott. And some space here. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cowboys are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it is 28-0. Ezekiel Elliott, a guy who considers himself underrated, has told his detractors to put some respect on his name. Hard not to respect a run like that. And that's his second touchdown run of this game, and this one add a high degree of difficulty to it as well. I'm absolutely marveling at how effortless he makes this look. I mean, let's face it, he had a long way to go. But how about the vision, the creativity with the football in his hands? It's really something to watch and that throw behind his man he missed him incomplete Mike Evans the one he was looking for but it's gonna be second down and as a first rounder a lot of eyes on him a lot of expectations and he has to play well in his rookie year those days of coddling guys and bringing him along slowly those days are long gone when you're trapped in the first round they expect you to play right away in the community's eyes and fan base they'll be on you the entire way they added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth they got a very good infusion of youth and they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their line. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. There he goes, left side. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead will swell by one more. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. If we were down there, that message would have been received a whole different way because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is taken at about the 14. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Back now in Tampa. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll try to run some clock now with Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. Shifts by at the 15. 
And down to the seven yard line. 109 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. So that run there, yeah, I don't know if it's overstating things to call it a thing of beauty, but in terms of football plays, that's as good as you're going to see. And what was impressive to me is not just how much he wanted it, but how he fashioned it. I mean, he was shedding tacklers left and right, evading tacklers left and right. And when you think about the energy it takes to ward guys off, that's really impressive. He still managed to keep his balance and turn this into a fantastic run. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they take over already five yards deep into the red zone at the 15-yard line. Well, partner, I think it's safe to say they can mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, I think it epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're still being shut out. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, they've got to be ecstatic with the way this season has started out. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a re And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. There's never a good place on the field to fumble the ball. Let's just call it as it is. But definitely not in your own red zone. <laughs> in your own red zone, it's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, and everything just changes for your team. Yeah, so the kickoff fumble now, great field position. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. These fans just kind of beside themselves right now. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. 
picked off by Anthony Brown. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the seven-yard line. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. The intended target was Chris Godwin. And it's second down. Now Brady. Able to find Jones. And he'll be brought down after a gain of about nine and compounding things. It's now third down as well. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Well, my friend, for the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year. And you know, all eyes were watching this when everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You could just 